Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Now, first of what is probably going to be several uh, pen mail videos. Um, yes, I promised you a selection of things. Now, I've been saving some of these things up for quite some time, um, mainly because I knew that I had this week holiday and I wanted lots of things to do and it couldn't have come at a better time. So, let's have a look at what's in this. Wow, there we go, just bash the camera. Let's see what we have got. Now, pretty obvious what these are if you know the brand. These are all second hand, by the way. Um, let's face it, there's a lot of things out there which full price are expensive, but if you hunt around, you can find them at a much more affordable price. And this being one of them. People like myself sometimes just end up with pens that they don't use or want to sell. So, Karis Customs K. Very nice metal pen. Really, really nice. Very comfortable. Nice section on the uh, on there. Really, really good. Yeah, sort of posts. Yeah. So, grey. Grey whatever it is, uh, I think this is the, which finish is this? I think one of them's raw and one of them is sandblasted. So solid, robust metal pens, certainly something that I can um, quite happily use at work uh, because I am finding that using certain plastic pens at work is proving a little bit dodgy because they get clunked around, bashed and I tend to forget about them, leave them in my pocket, which leaves them open to all sorts of uh, damage. Um, so that is the grey one. And in here, now these aren't complete pens. Well, one of these isn't a complete pen. Now this is the tumbled finish. So this is basically like a, um, it's been through a rumbler, tumbler type thing. So it's got this bashed up finish but needs a grip uh, section nib unit all the rest of it so there is another one i mean obviously i mean i didn't pay anywhere near full price for these because not quite complete but you can get uh, i mean the whole, the whole idea of caris customs pens is that you buy bits that you want and swap them around and do whatever so you customize your pen so there's an awful lot of stuff to uh, to think about with these and play around with. So many ink cartridges, lots of fun. And next, <coughs> excuse me, losing my voice already. There you go, Schaefer No Nonsense. Vintage pen, really inexpensive, really, really cheap. Um, I mean, sometimes you see them at stupid prices, uh, but I happen to really like one of the sellers, and God only knows where he's getting his pens from, because he, 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 he churns out hundreds of these things on eBay. He's always got Schaefer No Nonsense is available, and this one is one of his advertising pens, advertising Rothmans. Uh, Rothman's Cigarettes, uh, don't know if it's a worldwide brand, but it certainly was a UK brand in the days when cigarettes, you even knew the branding, now it's just a blank um, blank door in a shop and you've no idea what's behind it. So there we go, Rothman's uh, Schaefer No Nonsense, I think this is going to need some cleaning probably, let's see if I can see what the nib is, I 
can't that's just a medium nib so that's uh, that's quite good um i really love these pens as you know um got a uh, i did a review uh, a pen review pen mail video of the um shaving no nonsense nonsense zanussi uh pen the other week which uh which is very nice so i, I just love these pens i'm not going to ra ramble on about them uh, I'll put the link down below if you want to see uh, my Shafer No Nonsense collection, etc. So check out the description of this video. And lastly today, chunky old box. So let's see what is in this because I know. It's from Pure Pens, <coughs> excuse me, Pure Pens here in the UK, based down in, over in Wales. Now, try and do this without knocking, dropping anything. Pack of sweets. So... This will not be the most interesting bit, but some people hate them. Noodle's ink. So in this, I... Because Noodle's inks here in the UK are really, really difficult to find. They don't get imported very much. Um, so I have got a bottle of the Blue Nose Bear, which is really interesting looking blue ink. I've been looking for this for ages um, and I was, yeah, I was quite happy to see that uh, Pure Pens was stocking that, so looking forward to using that one. That's going to be fun. Second Noodler's ink bottle. There we go. Focus, there we go. What is this? God, they don't make it easy to see. Oh, it is, yes. The Huaro Wine. Yeah. It's cacti on the front. Obviously, my eyes couldn't even pick that out. I was expecting a green ink, but no, it's this lovely magenta purple Sahuaro Wine ink, which I really do like. It's a lovely colour. And yes, there is a lot of stuff in this, in this box. I've got a lot of inking to do this week, and I'm literally, the, the, today I have just been doing some uh, ink notes, and tomorrow I shall be cleaning out all of my everyday carry um, home fountain pens, so there'll be a whole load of new things in there. Right, now, this one. Pure pens. Pure pens have got their own, la their own range of inks. They're all made by Diamine. Uh, this is uh, called Castle Koch, which is a Welsh castle, which has a bit of a uh, pink theme on the walls going on, so that's a nice pinkish red ink. Very nice uh, ink, that one. Uh, Pure Pens do sell a ink sample set, or several ink sample sets of their Pure Pens inks. Um, if you want to try all the colours, some of them I like, some of them, yeah, not really for me. Uh, this one. Now, this is their new ink. This is only just out. Pure Pen's Beast of Bodmin, which is really nice black uh, sheening ink, I believe. Um, Bodmin Moor is in Cornwall, and there is a fabled, or to be honest, uh, fairly reasonably well documented uh, beast on there, which happens to be a. Uh, Melanistic Leopard or a Black Panther, if you like. Um, so that's the Beast of Bodmin. Really intriguing. Love their uh, love their themed Celtic inks. Next one. Pure Pens Ink. Yet another. This is this was actually released around the same time uh, as the Beast of Bodmin. This is Welsh Gold. And this is yet another black ink uh, with gold shimmer uh, in, in suspended inside it. And 
Let's see if we can see. Yeah, there is a bit. I wouldn't have thought that this is going to be a high sheening, uh, high shimmering ink. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a massive amount of sediment in there. So I suspect this is actually might be quite kind to pens re relatively compared to some of the other shimmering inks. So that will be fun to use. And I think I might even risk that in some pens which uh, aren't quite as quite as a uh, well shall we say temperamental or expensive risky um pure pens ink flower of scotland now as far as purple ink goes i did a purple ink review last summer and i selected my top purple inks i'll put the uh, link in the description down below this one is my absolute favorite purple ink so far ever it's brilliant. I really, really love that. So if you want to know why, I'll put the link down below. Have a look over at that video. Two more to go. So. Now, my Welsh used to be okay. I used to, uh, used to be able to speak Welsh. Um, now I really can't. Uh, this one is Cum Idwal, I believe, that's the pronunciation, which is a very deep, very, very deep lake um, in Wales, towards the north of Wales, uh, which is a really, really nice, very green teal colour. Very, very nice ink. Right, the last one. Uh, I'll just leave you uh, this quote from your pens. Uh, I'll just point out, no, I'm just doing a bit in the community service bit, I'll leave that little um, quote there. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Hashtag be kind. And if you're going through something and need somebody to talk to, Samaritans can face it with you. Uh, they're there 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Call 116123 if you need someone to talk to. Um, I think it's very good that Pure Pens have, I don't know why particularly, but they have decided to uh, team up, if you like, and promote the Samaritans. Uh, it's a good cause. You know, mental health affects most of us in our lives and certainly affects one in four people at any one time. So, you know, mental health, very important. And it's just good that, uh, that the Pure Pens uh, have decided to uh, to include this, because you never know who you might be helping. And the last ink in this package is Pure Pens Celtic Sea, which is possibly one of my favourite ever inks. Um, it's a blue unlike anything else. It's it's just so colourful. It's it's a proper sea, summery sea blue near the coast. Think of the beach. This is this is a really really good blue ink. Absolutely amazing. Thoroughly recommend it. If you're looking for an ink which the blue ink which just isn't your sort of dark blue, pale blue. If you want a really really nice colourful sea green blue ink well it's not even sea green it, it, it's just sea blue it's beautiful really love this ink so pure pens celtic sea highly recommended so there we go first of my um well what will be uh, probably several uh, pen and ink mail videos this week uh, as i clean through my pens um so yes thanks very much for watching stay tuned for the other uh, pen mail videos because there's few other things which I need to uh, need to go through um, and I will be doing pen reviews and ink reviews of all these things in due course so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye